What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to discuss with you guys a couple of changes, updates, and things to look out for for Call of Duty Warzone Battle Royale within the near future. Now guys, first off, I want to show you a couple of tweets from Joe Seacott, who's the director for multiplayer over at Infinity Ward. Now, one of my biggest complaints has to do with the ping system, just because for some reason I cannot get used to integrating the D-pad to ping players or an item. It's just extremely tedious for me to take my thumb off my left thumbstick while I'm trying to either run towards or away from an engagement. So definitely not a fan of the button placement for the ping system. However, Joe Seacott has stated in a reply to Handy Kill Cam on Twitter asking if there was going to be a button remap in the works and Joe Seacott stated that they are working on some stuff and when I first saw that I cannot tell you how excited I was because like it's just so tedious for me to ping and stay engaged with my surroundings at the same time. I think Apex Legends did it perfectly with their designing with the ping system because um, you know you utilize the left bumper you also have the ADS uh, trigger right there so I think that's what I'm going to be using to utilize as my primary ping option and yeah I love this feature a lot I think every video game should have a button remap or button placement system so hopefully this update comes out very very soon and next up guys there is this I guess glitch or maybe it was just something that was made unaware to developers when they were designing Warzone but if you down an enemy and then they happen to leave the game while they're in that down state then you will not get credited for the kill and yesterday that kept happening to me and my friend a couple games and a Joe Seacott stated that they have added that to the list of updates and things to fix. It's very, very aggravating when that happens. Before, if you were to leave the game while down, then you wouldn't even drop loot. So now it looks like if you leave the game, not only will your loot stay, but the player who killed you is going to be credited for the kill. And I'm very happy to see that is going to be coming. But also speaking about loot that doesn't drop, if your teammate happens to disconnect mid game by either lagging out or something of that nature, then your teammate would not even drop their loot item. So basically, all that time in the game was for nothing you lose all that ammo that cash the weapons etc but infinity ward is aware of that issue and they are going to be fixing that very very soon it's added to the list of things that are going to be coming but not only does that happen to teammates it could also happen if an enemy you're shooting at happens to time out as well then they will not drop any of their loot items so again it's a pretty annoying little issue and they are going to be looking into it and fixing that very soon now one of the things myself lazy and prestigious key brought up in our try commentary the other day was the team count because all three of us had the consensual agreement that three players for a team are just way too small for a battle royale especially with this map size and the player count of this magnitude and we all agreed that it should be increased to four and five would be even better especially since infinity ward mentioned that they are going to be increasing the lobby size to 200 so i believe the team count should also be increased as well um it's just like i said way too big of a map and way too big of a player size to just have three players per team and Infinity Ward also stated that they have tested four and five players for a team for Warzone internally so definitely guys please please bring that out soon I do always find myself having to leave out a friend that I would really like to play with because of the team size is just set to three but again five would definitely be ideal and I think that would make for some extremely fun gameplay also in Warzone private match there's an option to select your team size to duos or squads so maybe we could see duos squads or maybe both added to warzone tomorrow on tuesday kind of like how solos was a new game mode added last week but now as for a couple of things that i could see change that infinity ward has been you know made known over the past couple of uh, weeks since the game has came out are things like screen tearing and a screen glaring which essentially is like a random blinding light or a dark black um light i guess you could say that kind of blinds you at times it, it blocks your field of view so um it's pretty annoying and i definitely do think infinity ward is aware of that geoscaling or climbing rocks or rigid areas on the map i can't tell you how many times i've been caught thinking i could climb up a rock or a hill but the players just you know can't mantle over those certain items so i definitely do think that's going to be um, changing sometime in the near future it's going to be a bit easier to mantle over those things or you're going to be able to i guess be made known that you can't mantle or climb over this certain rock formation so um, hopefully that is going to be coming within the next couple of updates here 
here. So those are a few issues that I could see Infinity Ward addressing. Personally, for me, I would really love it if there were more character customization for your operators in game. Like maybe there could be a challenge specific mission that could reward you with maybe like a watch or an outfit for your operator or even something that just indicates to the game that you've won like 25, 50 or 100 matches and so on and so on in Warzone because that's a really huge accomplishment and so far to my knowledge there isn't anything in the game that rewards you for that accomplishment. Now I would also really like to see character mission unlock items in the game kind of like how that was in Blackout if you complete a challenge for a character item then you would be able to play as him or her in the game and I think that was one of the things that made Blackout so damn fun and if Infinity War did that with maybe some old Modern Warfare characters then that would be absolutely amazing but that's kind of wishful thinking there but for sure one of the best things that the devs can do to increase that fun and thrill factor is by having more items and things to unlock by simply playing the game so guys that's going to be it for the video those are a couple updates and things to look out for for Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone Battle Royale let me know thoughts down below in the comments guys and also if you guys have any issues that you would like to see addressed then uh, please let them be known in the comment section and I'll also try and forward them to um, Activision and Infinity Ward as well thanks for watching guys love you all so so much till next time I'll see you guys later